Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Hashim Ali Khan. So this is the last video on explanation of perquisites. After this, we will start the problems. If you have watched all the videos of these perquisites, definitely you can easily do the problems on perquisites. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject income tax for assessment year 2023. Select the videos of perquisites 1, 2, 3, 4 then definitely you will feel you will feel a lot of confidence on the topic of perquisites. Now in this video, I am going to explain you which are the perquisites which are completely exempted from tax. Tax free. It is the benefit which is given by the employer to the employee, but employee's hands it is not taxable. Income Tax Act specifically given as tax free. In examination, you may get a theory question, write down or list down some 10 Perquisites which are completely exempted from tax. For that purpose, you have to watch this video. Apart from that, if you with full concentration, if you watch this video, many points will come in the coming problems where you have to decide whether it is taxable or tax free. That's why it is very important. So watch till the end, don't skip in between. So before explaining what are the perquisites which are completely tax free, take the screenshot of the points which I have written. Now, now I'm going to start which are the perquisites and fringe benefits which are completely tax free or exempted from tax one by one. Already many of these perquisites we have discussed in the earlier videos also. First one, the following is the list. Free refreshments. Remember free refreshments, snacks, tea, soft drinks, etc. which are provided by the employer to the employee during business hours and in the business premises. It's a completely tax-free perquisite. Two conditions are there. The refreshment should be given during the business hours and in the business premises. Then the refreshments given is tax-free. Next one, free meals. Meals in the sense either lunch or dinner. Free meals provided by the employer to the employee during business hours and within business premises is tax free if the value of each meal is up to 50 rupees <clears throat> if the value of each meal is more than 50 rupees the excess will be taxable but up to 50 rupees meal provided it is tax free third one free meals provided by the employer to the uh, during working hours in a remote area or an offshore installation Sometimes the employee will be sent to a remote area or an offshore installation. At that place, meals are provided. Because it is a remote area or offshore installation, the meals provided is completely tax free. <coughs> Subsidized lunch or dinner provided by the employer to the employee. In many cases, some canteens are maintained by the employer where subsidized food is provided by the canteen to the employees. In that case, the subsidy will be given by the employer to the employees in the form of reduction in the prices of food. That is also tax free. But then lunch allowance is fully taxable. One point you remember, allowance is different from perquisite. Allowance means a fixed monetary amount is given along with the basic salary that is called allowance. So if in the problem lunch allowance comes immediately you should think it is 100% fully taxable allowance. Now if the employer pays or reimburses fees for the study of employee then it is a tax free perquisite. Sometimes the employees will make studies, will undergo studies, I mean courses. In that case, the study course fees is paid by the employer. Suppose I am the employee of XYZ organization. I am studying some course. The fee of the course is paid by the company. It's a benefit to me because I am studying and my fees is paid by the company. Income Tax Act says it is completely tax free perquisite. Next one, cost of refresher courses attended by the employee and the employer makes the payment. Sometimes the employees will undergo refresher courses or trainings to so the fees of these refresher course or training paid by the employer 
that is also tax free purpose next one when the employer provides free education to the children of employee in an educational institution run by the employer is a tax free purpose in some cases the employer will maintain a school or an educational institution in which the children of the employees are getting the education free of cost in that case the income tax act says tax free purpose because the school is run by the employer and it provides free education facility to the employees children it's a tax free purpose scholarship given to the children of the employees on merit basis or economic criteria is a tax free purpose suppose in some cases the employer will give scholarship to the employees children either on merit basis or on the economic criteria basis scholarship received by the children is a tax free purpose next one is rfa rent free accommodation provided to an employee in a remote area so when the employer provided a rent free accommodation to an employee in a remote area then also it's a tax free purpose next one rfa provided for less than 15 days in a hotel if the employee has been transferred from one place to another place sometimes the employer has sent the sent the employee the employer has sent the employee to a another place where he is staying in a hotel for less than 15 days so expenditure paid the hotel bill paid by the employer to the employee for staying in that hotel for less than 15 days if the employee is transferred from one place to another place is a tax free purpose next one rent free official residence provided to the judges of supreme court and high court in india the judges of supreme court and high court were allotted official residence then this official residence is a purpose but income tax act says it is a tax free purpose medical treatment in the hospital maintained by the employer to the employee or the family member is a tax free purpose just like educational institutions similarly an employer will maintain a hospital for the treatment of employees or their children then employees are getting benefit free of cost they are getting medical treatment in the employer run hospital so this benefit to the in the hands of employees is again a tax free purpose next comes the employer pays for the treatment of the employee or his family member in hospital maintained by the government or hospital approved by the government is a tax free purpose suppose the employee or their family member is getting the medical treatment in a government hospital or government approved hospital expenditure paid by the employer is completely tax free purpose because the medical treatment is done in a government hospital next reimbursement of medical expense incurred by the employee in a recognized hospital in india it is a tax free purpose in the previous video i explained that income tax act has specified these are the recognized hospitals in india so if the employee is getting the treatment in a recognized hospital the bill is reimbursed by the employer it's a tax free purpose because the medical treatment is done in recognized hospital and the bill is reimbursed by the employer tax free next uh, free recreational facilities provided by the employees to the employer many a times many recreational facilities like uh, clubs or gym or uh, different types of uh, sports facilities will be given by the employer to the employee it's a benefit to the employee freely they are getting the facilities income tax act says tax free purpose next payment of residential telephone or cell phone bill of the employee by the employer this is very important very frequently problems will come across telephone bill or cell phone bill of the employee the residence telephone bill or the cell phone bill of the employee paid by the employer is a tax free purpose interest free loans or loans at concessional rate given by the employer during the previous year if the loan amount is not exceeding 20000 suppose if the loan is given during the previous year interest free loan or at concessional rate of interest loan by the employer to the employee if the loan amount is up to 20000 rupees it's a tax free purpose ha huh? if the loan amount is more than 20000 then it will become a taxable purpose but 
the loan amount 20,000 is a petty loan. So it's a tax free purpose. If the employer has given the loan for medical treatment in respect of specified diseases, sometimes the loan is taken by the employee from the employer for medical treatment of specified diseases. Income Tax Act has given the specified diseases names like cancer, AIDS, etc. So many diseases are there. So if the employee or family member suffer from the disease and getting the treatment in a hospital, loan is taken from the employer. Income Tax Act says interest-free loan is a tax-free perquisite because the employee has taken the loan for medical treatment of specified diseases. Next, free gift given by the employer to an employee or his family member or concession or ceremonial occasion up to 5,000. So if the gift is given in kind, up to 5,000 rupees on any normal course or ceremonial occasion, it's a tax-free purpose. Next, employer providing laptops and computer for official and personal purpose to an employee. Many a time, the employer will give a laptop or a computer to the employee for both official and personal use. It's a tax-free purpose. Next one is goods which are manufactured by the employer and sold to the employer at a concessional rate. Sometimes the goods which are manufactured, produced by the employer will be sold to the employee at a concessional rate. So employee is getting the benefit of concession. Income tax act is tax free purpose. Next one, employer's contribution to group insurance, staff group insurance scheme. Some of the employers have will contribute the money towards group insurance scheme. In that case also is a tax free purpose. Free ration to staff of armed forces, defense. The armed forces, defense people, they are getting free ration. So that is also tax free. Perquisite to government employees working in foreign country. Indian government has appointed ambassadors or other SM, I mean embassy people and they are being appointed by the government and sent to other countries. They are getting the salary perquisite allowances. Salary is taxable, but perquisite given to Indian citizens who has been posted abroad by the government is a tax-free perquisite. Next, medical insurance premium paid or reimbursed under the scheme framed by the central government or IRDA. Sometimes the employer will pay medical insurance premium of the employees or the family under a scheme which is framed either by the government or by IRDA, Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India. So if the scheme is framed either by government or IRDA and the amount is paid by the employer, tax free perquisite. Reimbursement of medical expense incurred by the employee in a foreign country. Sometimes medical expense are incurred by the employee or, or for their family members and later on it will be reimbursed by the employer in a foreign country. Mr. X is working in XYZ company in India. He was suffering from a disease. He wants to get the treatment in US. So he has spent 5 lakh rupees on medical treatment. And that 5 lakh rupees is reimbursed by the employer. Income tax act says tax free per visit. So medical treatment expenditure in a foreign country, either on the employee or the family member, is a tax free per visit. Now stay abroad. Uh, for stay abroad of the patient and one attendant. For staying in foreign country, we need the patient needs one attendant. So staying, accommodation expenditure, staying expenditure on the patient and one attendant, reimbursed by the employer, is a tax free purpose. Now travel. For expenses incurred on travel of the patient and one attendant, if the gross total income, GTI of the SSC is less than 2 lakh rupees, then travel expenses incurred and reimbursed by the employer, that will also be tax free. Huh? If the gross total income is more than 2 lakh, then travel expenditure will be taxable. Reimbursement made on travel expenditure will be taxable. So totally 27 points I have explained you. So if you have watched with full concentration, you got in mind what are the different perquisites which are exempted from tax, not taxable. All these points will appear while doing the problems. So inshallah next video I will make the problems on this perquisite. So if you are satisfied give a like to the video. Share my channel.
give your comments, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. By the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we'll start the problems on perquisites in the next video.